Hello everyone, I am Shayanath back again with another video. Today in this video we will be discussing about for each loop and uh, discussing and we will also discuss about lambda functions or unnamed functions in Dart. So let's get started. So in the intermediate folder, create a new file known as for each dot dart and uh, in like in the previous video of maps you uh, I have to create a main method and after that I will create a map of user so basically uh, first I need to tell you that why we are using for each uh, basically for when you will work in a real life project uh, just like in just like you have to handle database uh, with firebase or something you will get a lot of data and those will be in the form of maps you have to handle that so for that reason you can't loop through every time and you don't know the number okay in apis also you will get it so you don't know the number actually so for that reason it's better to use for each loop so that you can gather all the data at a time so let's start so the first name uh, first first we have to declare a map so I'm doing that and giving values to it sorry sorry let's take an email and uh, let's take a phone number phone number insta id okay we have done it and uh, now i will show you that how you can implement it so it's actually very easy don't worry so if you want to define a method okay you need to write a name like this print and then you need to write it the print sorry print hello like this okay but if the function has doesn't have any name you you can't give name also you just have to give an equal to sign and a greater than sign you can do it like this okay this is a unnamed function and for unnamed function just like this for each is there so for for each you can write user that is the map and for each okay and you have to just pass the key and the value okay for printing so let's just use some spaces and just open the first bracket and then write k comma v yeah you can take anything just like superman or batman you can take anything i am putting k as keys and v as values okay and same way i can do like this and i want to recommend you that if you are printing one line that uh, that is you are only printing in the forage then don't need to do this uh, use curly braces okay but you can use it but i want to suggest you that don't do it because it's not needed so much that you want to apply it so don't do it it is un uh, it causes unnecessary problem so just write it in one line just undo it just you can write like this print key is key oh sorry key, uh, i have used k sorry and value is i have used v for that you can take anything because it's user defined so yeah we are done yeah we are done we are done 
let's format the code yeah it's formatted now let's run it so uh, head on to the intermediate files and then run this program dart space for each dot dot and let's see what happens yeah key is first name and the value is shyam key is last name and value is not and key is email and value is shyam not 235 at gmail.com and also uh, yeah. uh, key is instagram id and value is shyam not 235 everything is perfect here so this is how you can uh, use maps and you can iterate through a big map so don't worry about it and uh, if you want to view this code or access this code i am always pushing this code to my github okay in my xss files repository just go and check it out for each it's there so and another important announcement psc is organizing a hackathon an online hackathon so register and i will give the link in the description i hope you will i hope you have enjoyed this video if you really like this video go and click the like button and share this video and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon i'll be meeting you in the next video and the next video will be discussing about oops in dart so let's catch up in the next video stay tuned bye bye